Last Friday, Governor J.B. Pritzker announced $2.1 million in grants for 13 local bike path projects across the Prairie State. One of those projects will be a bike path built at Crepe Park in Freeport. Joining me to talk about that project is the Freeport Park District Executive Director, Ron Schneider. Hi, Mr. Schneider. Hi, Connor. Good. Hi. How are you today, Connor? I'm doing fantastic. So, you know, first things first. Uh, by my understanding, $200,000 is going towards this exact project. How did y'all go about getting that grant? Yeah, well, let me first, it's, it starts out with um, listening to our residents. And, you know, our, our residents want to see bike and pedestrian paths expanded throughout the community. This was evident uh, when the Park District surveyed residents in 2022 about their recreation priorities and um, bike paths was at the top of the list. And that's one of our main goals today. So, you know, um, bike paths like this are important because, um, you know, they're great for outdoor recreation, health and wellness, but they also connect neighborhoods, parks, schools, retail centers, and provide safe routes for cyclists. So uh, I think the state of Illinois realizes the importance of bicycle infrastructure uh, it also matches up with the same principles and goals that the Freeport Park District has. So it's great to see project, projects like this uh, uh, jointly funded. Now, you mentioned that word connect, and I, I kind of want to drill down on that because um, by my understanding, and tell me if I have this wrong, this bike path in Crepe Park will connect other paths across the area? Well, it's really an expansion of, uh, of the great uh, bicycle paths and pedestrian paths that we have in Crepe Park. Uh, this will provide a new connection, a little over a half mile in length, that will follow the Yellow Creek. So it's a very beautiful part of the park, um, and it will provide for also future connections to other paths. So um, I think this is just the next step in further developing the bicycle infrastructure and path system that we have in Freeport. Now, did y'all have to apply for this grant? How did you end up securing the funds? We did. Um, the Illinois Department of Natural Resources is the department that administers this grant program. Uh, it became available in the first quarter of 2023, and it provides um, local units of government with up to $200,000 in funding towards bike path development. Uh, the Freeport Park District um, took the opportunity to apply for this grant in May of 2023. Um, and of course, we were just it was just announced that uh, we were awarded the full amount that we applied for, which is the $200,000 in funding towards this path. Wonderful, and last question for you, sir. You know, what can people look forward to from the Freeport Park District in the coming months? Because I know, you know, the weather is getting colder, but people will still be wanting to use the parks, I imagine. Absolutely, you know, now is one of my favorite uh, times of the year and seasons to be out in the parks. You know, we have um, a lot of a great variety of trees and, and watching the trees change into their full color is a beautiful time to visit many of our parks. Uh, so, um, you know, there's still nice weather ahead and I encourage people to get out and uh, visit our, our uh, scenic spaces, um, whether it's by bike or by foot or driving through a park. So great time to be out. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, Mr. Schneider. And you heard it here first, everyone. Get out to one of uh, the Freeport parks and uh, enjoy that nature while you still can. Get out there. Absolutely. Thank you, sir. Have a good rest of your Tuesday. Yeah, you too.